So now it's time to make the connecting rod. So our connecting rod is going to go between this point here. It's going to wrap around here and go up to our pistons. As soon as we get that in place, we can delete the flush on top here, that delete me feature we made, and we can start getting stuff more together. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start a new part. And we're going to start a sketch. And I'm going to start off with a circle down here and a circle up here. This circle here, I know for a fact it's going to be 1. 1.75 plus uh, mm plus 0.01 inches. And this here, this hole here is going to be, um, I believe in our crankshaft, we set the 0.1. So this is our two endpoints, and I can set the dimension between these guys. I know that we are going to have these have to be at least 1.25 or 1.5 inches apart. So that's going to be our travel for our piston. I also know this guy here is vertical to this guy here. Now it's time to start building around here. So I know this top circle, we're going to build a circle over here and a circle here. This circle here, if we go to our piston, is going to be based on this. So I'm going to hit M for measure. I'm going to measure the diameter of that circle to here. So it's a point 0.1 between those two things. So from the center there to point is point 0.1. So I'm going to go here. So dimension from here to here is going to be 0.075 um, times or times two, because that distance was a radius. We're gonna go smaller than that radius, twice that radius, and that should give us space. And let's just met, let's do dimension and just see what the dimension is from here to here. 0 0.036. That might be a little thin. We might have to adjust some sizing. That's fine if we do. Now, if we go to the crankshaft, if I measure this diameter here which should be 0 0.02 or 0.2. Let's mention this be 0.2. Actually, we need to do 0 0.1 plus 0 0.01. So that looks okay. These might be a little fragile. If they are, we can go and up sizes both adjust the piston and the crank and or the crankshaft to get those. And now I'm going to draw a line that starts at one circle and goes to the other circle. And same here again, from this circle to this circle. So now we need to make sure this line is tangent to its outer circles. It might already be, but we just need to make sure all four things are tangent. And now we can extrude this whole thing Point one five. So this is our crankshaft, our connecting rod, rather. So I'm going to save this as connecting rod, and then we can start putting it together. So I'm going to go and go to our assembly, and we're going to place two connecting rods into place. And these guys, this axis here is going to get made to this axis here. Actually, I'm going to use insert. And that's going to give me two constraints at once. So I'm going to make this axis, that face there, to that face there. And we're going to offset it by 0 0.005. Same thing here. We're going to make this to here, 0 0.005. Now, again, these tolerances are going to depend on how things print. I might have to adjust them later. I'm going to also make 
I know this circle here. I'm going to use a standard mate now. Mates to that circle there. I'm going to pull things out of shape. I'm going to constrain this axis here to this axis here. And then I also know this plane, this axis is on this guy's XY plane. Nope. Sorry. His X, Z plane. Apply. So I'm going to move this down. I'm now going to delete the delete me constraint. And while this dances around more than we'd like to, the concept looks okay. So our next piece is we're going to have to build a crankcase that's going to hold everything together. And I'm going to make sure that this is in straight. To get our maximum so that the top piston is as straight as possible. Now, this is going to have quite a few test fronts we're going to have to do, but I'm going to get everything put together, and then we'll start test fronting pieces. But here's our basic crankshaft. Here's our pistons. Next to our crankcase. 